If you enjoy being by the water and wish you could live there permanently to avoid the monotonous land and tiresome traffic, you might want to consider living in a floating home. These can be quite costly, so you might need to start saving up. These are the top 10 most expensive floating homes in the world. Number 10. These extremely luxurious studio apartments in Dubai are targeted at the super wealthy yacht owners who enjoy the city's marina and are looking for a local home base. However, these are not your typical apartments, as they are among Dubai's many water-based dwellings that have been popping up all over the real estate over the recent decades. The master suite and bathroom are located on the underwater level, which is perhaps what makes these buildings so unique. The 3,100 square feet of apartments are individual floating homes that are laid out over three levels, underwater sea level and upper deck. These rooms are enclosed with completely transparent glass walls that give the homeowner a completely unobstructed view of the coral reef and marine life that surrounds them. Presumably the glass is two-way, allowing sea life and any passing scuba divers to have an unhindered view inside the apartment. They also have five-star amenities, 24-hour concierge service, and a $1.3 million price tag. Number 9. This bizarre glass box house is up for grabs for just $5.5 million. This South Beach, Miami property is a cross between a yacht and a villa, but what really sets it apart is that you can basically park it anywhere you like. The entire structure moves like a boat but looks like a house, and it's located in the upscale South Beach waterfront neighborhood of Miami. If you're not very fond of that location, you can easily relocate. The Villa Yacht boasts an abundance of features, including modern environmental essentials like rooftop solar panels. Given that the house is situated in a hurricane-prone state of Florida, one could naturally wonder what happens when the weather performs its job effectively. They even have an answer to that. With just a button press, the homeowner of the floating mansion can raise the entire structure above the water's surface, protecting it from the rough surfaces of the swell below. The hurricane windows, which are essential and can withstand wind speeds of up to 155 miles per hour, are also present. If you appreciate the advanced weather protection, you might want to take a peek inside at all the luxury. With more than 4,000 square feet of living area, the home boasts four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. When the house is on the move, a retractable deck in the outdoor living area glides down into the hole. There's an opulent kitchen with plenty of storage, including all necessities. Number 8. This waterfront property in Boca Raton, which is available for $25 million, features a 343-foot frontage stretch with decking and boat docking facilities, so if you have a large number of boats, your parking needs will be fully met. Not only does this home have plenty of boat space, but it also has four pools. There's a little pool with an infinity edge that wraps around the deck, and there are other plunge pools. The reason this place is called Infinity House is because of all the pools inside. Things get even fancier inside. There are over 12,000 square feet of accommodations with an open floor plan and modern impressions created by glass walls in every room with enormous walk-in closets and a massive bathroom with eight more bedrooms. Number 7. The organic wood wave floating home is the result of architects adopting a classic design, in this case, a wooden house, and refining it. The Wave House has won numerous honors for its exceptionally modern and stylish appearance. This design was influenced by the form of boats, which gives the structure its distinctively curved shape and significant impact. The rest of the design, while still attractive, is largely based on the regular house protocol. Therefore, the bold and sweeping wave that gives the house its charm is what adds to the property's overall functionality. It's still a house, yet a unique, expensive one made of common materials like glass, wood, and steel. Number 6. This mansion yacht, which was unveiled in 2019 at a boat show in Fort Lauderdale, is a house of extravagant proportions that is also a yacht, the one that doesn't go anywhere and can't truly replace a boat with full king-size rooms. It also has a floating staircase. One of the biggest claims made by the manufacturers was that it is the first yacht in history to be made entirely of stainless steel. This basic model is a steel at $12 million, and for that bargain basement price, you get a 9,000 square foot stainless steel yacht. It is 84 feet long, which is essentially enough room for 149 people, and it has a massive 1,600 square feet on the front deck. The yachts makers claim that billionaires were the main people showing interest in their creation. Number 5. Despite being on the water, this home has a full basement level, 
two floors of living space, and a large rooftop deck. Seattle is known for being wet. The home is designed to take in views from the surrounding area, including 270 degrees views across the lake and the Olympic Mountains in downtown Seattle. Everything for just $6.25 million. Number 4. Next up is a boat, or a house, designed by the Portuguese design group Friday. It's called the Float Wing, and it has a modular design that allows you to really build it larger or smaller based on your needs by just adding more or less of these modules. The walls are also entirely composed of glass panels that slide open to create an indoor-outdoor space, another feature that makes this home particularly unique. In its most basic version, the Float Wing isn't motorized, but for an additional fee, twin outboard motors can be added to move it through the water at three knots, not quite the speedboat, but still it's a house. In addition, there are solar panels, batteries, a pellet stove, tanks for storing water, and a super deluxe model that is designed to be off the grid during the warmer months of the year. Number 3. It's true that you can build a luxurious, modern home deep within the lush, green vegetation of a rainforest if you have the necessary funds. Fortunately, the home has been positioned so that it is not overtly noticeable to the locals or as windows that allow them to look in. This is an exclusive residence for prosperous people, as the architects behind the construction state that the building is meant to maximize the relationship between architecture and nature. It nevertheless manages to stay somewhat concealed and offers more than its fair share of views of the surrounding mountains, jungle, and sea. Number 2. The architect of this peculiar pod hotel claims that he was inspired to develop this when he was just 15 years old and watched the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. The movie gave him the idea to design a room that would be dedicated to the ocean. This is the world's first floating hotel suite, and it's apparently creating some controversy in the known eco-travel industry. They say the purpose is to give the tourist a multi-sensory experience, and motion sickness may be one of those experiences. These opulent, self-contained pod-like rooms are actually a kind of watercraft that can be taken across the sea to inaccessible locations. These fiberglass built pods feature a glass bottom, 36 to 60 degrees views, and a viewing area that allows guests to take in the underwater world. Number 1. The upcoming mansions are absurdly extravagant, reportedly costing $1.5 billion, and may only be accessible to the most luxurious and ridiculous types of people. The island city, which will float in the Caribbean Sea, is entirely man-made and is intended to house what are being referred to as ultra-high-performance concrete modular homes. Maybe all billionaires prefer to lounge around on floating structures in the middle of the ocean completely surrounded by water that is home to sharks. According to reports, the design features closets or residences with prices ranging from $4,000 to $1.2 billion. That's it for today's floating homes. Which of these dwellings would you choose as your home? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.